Federal authorities bust a rare meth ring that may be linked to Terre Haute. They indicted members of the Sons of Silence motorcycle gang in Indianapolis over the weekend. News 10's Amanda Jarrett talked to the prosecuting attorney about this case and what it says about Indiana's growing meth problem. She joins us live with the tales. Amanda? Mark, the four-month-long federal investigation is the largest drug-related gang takedown by federal prosecutors in Indiana since 2002. You may remember this federal investigation. That's when the Diablo motorcycle gang in Terre Haute was busted for bringing in pounds of meth each month to Terre Haute. They were a multi-million dollar drug ring. The latest investiga investigation of the Sons of Silence shows they were involved in meth trafficking, money laundering, firearm offenses, and stolen motorcycles. While federal officials say the Sons of Silence operation was on a smaller scale, the meth was more dangerous. This indie bus just shows how dangerous meth trafficking has become. Federal officials say the meth they've taken from the group was nearly 100 percent pure. To give you an idea, most street meth is about 40 percent pure. It's a rare find in Indiana, and getting these people behind bars could make a big impact on the meth problem. And I hope it does both in Indianapolis and in the Terre Haute area. We've developed information through the investigation that some of this methamphetamine made its way down to Terre Haute. Here's a look at the indictments so far. These men, all from Indianapolis, are facing numerous federal charges, all linked to the Sons of Silence gang. Both Gary and James Baker remain fugitives tonight. There is one more defendant in this case whose identity is not being released at this time, while the feds are still working to bring that person into custody. Mark, back to you. Thanks, Amanda. We'll continue to follow this developing story.